Yeah, gang, you already know the vibes. Stay locked in. Stay locked in. Yeah, you know the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Y'all know the vibes. It's your boy Camille back with another video. If you're new to the channel, thanks for hopping on. If you're not new to the channel, what's going on, gang? Y'all know the vibes. Um, it's your boy Camille, a trans man from West Philly. Um, I'm two years into my transition. Two years and one month, actually, today into my transition. Um, I got top surgery. I do not have bottom surgery yet. Um, I'm on a low dose of testosterone still. Shot day is Tuesday. I'm just trying to get a, get out the general questions, you feel me? So, what's going on, gang? Um, today is Duke's birthday. It's my mom's birthday today. So, if you've been following me, you already know the vibe. My mom passed away uh, October the 15th, uh, 2022. So, November, December. There's three months since she passed away. Today is her birthday. Yeah, Jan January Capricorn stand up. So, I'm just vibe with y'all. Uh, I'm going to try to go to the cemetery today and um, just give her some little balloons. So Y'all going to come with me. Um, but right now, I'm going to just, like, honestly, my mom made today so much easier, gang. I swear to God. Because in the last, like, i say year, she kind of distanced herself from me a lot. And the year before that, she was in Florida caring for my niece. So she still was away on her birthday. So... The last two birthdays of my, before today, my mom kind of made it easier for me. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, I was in the bed all day. And I felt like I knew today was coming up and I kind of was like preparing myself for today. I kind of almost forgot, I'm not even gonna lie to you. But my body knew, cause yesterday I was just literally in the bed all day. I didn't do nothing, I woke up. Um. I walked to the poppy store, I made breakfast, and I just chilled out. Honestly, I was tired of shit. Like, I literally been, like, ripping and running, like, shit for the last, I can't even tell you. It's like, every day I wake up, like, I just got all this shit to do. And it's like, how do I got all this shit to do when I normally be at work at running this time? But at the end of the day, yesterday, I got some much needed sleep. Today, it's probably not even 8 o'clock this morning yet. I'm down here giving y'all this bed, but, um... It's much needed because today a queen was born and laid to rest. Well, she was laid to rest on the 15th, but not January. So, Dukes, I just want to say thank you. Um, I got a nice message from my godma this morning. You know, my, my god, her and my godma used to really talk on the phone for hours. So, I know my godma missed those combos. But my mom actually distanced herself from her too. So, it's like. What would we normally be doing? Normally, we'd probably be calling each other, checking and seeing, hey, did Dukes call you? Did you talk to your mom today? You feel me? So, mom, you was real crafty. I really wish, though, like, I mean, I guess I understand. You know, some parents just be trying to protect their children. But sometimes, like, the, the kid don't mind going through the shit with you. Like, I feel like even though... I like normally on her birthday, my mom don't normally do like she not one of them that just do a whole lot of like extra shit. Like she never even wanted me to take her out to dinner or lunch or nothing like that. Um, normally on a typical day like this, on a well today is Sunday too, but normally on my on my mom's birthday, my daughters are <clears throat> they always love celebrating my mom's birthday. Any day that is you can celebrate my daughters will celebrate it so i don't really think it has nothing to do with my mom i just think they just like going out and doing shit <laughs> but they would normally get up you know what i mean go get her some flowers my mom loved chocolate cake and chocolate ice cream so they would go get her a chocolate cake a small uh this sound small just personally for her because we be, we be trying to like force my mom to be selfish even though i we know that she still shared that cake like my mom just kind of got to a point in her life where she just kind of just wanted to be left alone. So we always, my daughters used to wake up, Mama, what's Nana's birthday? Is we, is we celebrating and she having a party? I'm like, Nana is not having a birthday party, bro. But my my oldest daughter kind of like, oh, like, oh, like today, she might text me and be like, oh, it's Nana's birthday. But my baby girl, she be on top of every fucking thing, bro. Like, so she will wake up every morning, I mean, every 15th, and we'll go get her some flowers and some a small chocolate cake i try to insert some pictures of my daughter doing that for the last couple years but um but like i said the last couple years been kind of weird because 
you know, my mom kind of just been like declining for the last, what, a year, I say? Like the last year, my mom has not been my mom. So Dukes, rest in peace. I know you chilling right now, so I'm not, I'm not gonna bother you too much, but I am gonna take her a couple balloons. Last year, we uh, did like a balloon release for my niece. And it's crazy because I said, I'm not gonna turn into one, one of them people that, you know what I mean? Like every time, like somebody pass away, every other month, it's like a celebration for them. Cause like, if they didn't celebrate while they wasn't, while they was here, we not gonna turn this into like nothing crazy. But last year I did do like a balloon release for my niece. I did a balloon release for Saida twice. The day she passed away and on her birthday. And, and Saida's birthday is in two weeks. So it's like, yeah, we're not gonna keep doing all this. Like, honestly, like I'm not trying to forget about it, but I'm just like going through kind of like the, the the last phases of the healing process. I, I feel like it's never, I'm never gonna be fully healed, but I feel like I'm gonna get to the point where it's just like regular, like, you know what I mean? like. It's, I, I used to say like, damn, I wonder when shit gonna go back to normal, but this is kind of my normal now. I don't have my niece and I don't have my mom. So I know that, and I'm not even talking to my family right now. So it's like, um, hopefully they watching this video and hopefully they know I'm not doing no balloon release because I don't feel like all that extra shit. I am gonna go and take her, you know how I'm gonna go to um, like one of them little dollar stores and shit and get her just like a little happy birthday, John. And I might decorate it with some Valentine's Day shit too, so I wanted to go back out there, like, just keep switching it up. So, my mom is was heavy on decorations, though. That's something that she always loved. So, I'm like, that's all I got right now. So, like, yeah, you gonna get that, Dukes. Like, I got you. So, it's a little bit too cold to go grounding over there on her gravesite. I might try it today, but if it's too cold, we not even gonna do it. We not even gonna play ourselves. So, um, if you got your mom, gang, even if she a shitty mom. If she a shitty mom, just still understand that um, you wouldn't be here without her. So I ain't saying kiss her ass or none of that shit like that. I ain't saying go cuss her out, but just appreciate your mom because you know, all of us don't have, well, I'm not gonna say I don't have a mom, but it's just kind of weird not having her around. So um Unfortunately, I don't understand how we have shitty moms in this world. I do. I don't understand how we have shitty dads, but I really don't understand how we have shitty moms because how in the I, I don't know how you can carry a child and then be a shitty mom on the same. Like I know nobody is perfect, but that shit just it's just weird to me, gang. Like it's so weird, you know. It's. it's <laughs> It's weird as hell, but you know what I mean? Like, I guess I didn't have a shitty mom, so I really don't know. I just had, like, a, the world's greatest mom. So having the world's greatest mom, it's kind of weird because because she was so amazing. She was, like, a mom to so many children, gang. Like, y'all have, no, have no idea how many children my mom actually claimed that she has. In her eyes, I think she says she has about five. Maybe five and a possible. Bro, I don't know who all these kids is. She did raise my older cousins, though, as their as her own. Like, she was a teenager doing that. So, like, you raising somebody else's kids, I guess you would consider them your children as well. Um, possibly, I guess. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. My mom says she has about, like, 52 grandkids. And in her mind, you know, so many people call her grandma that... Oh, I, my, you don't have 50, who is these kids? Like, she she claimed her own. She claimed my step pops. She claimed, I don't know. Like, she just claimed all these fucking kids. So, it's like, <sighs> Dukes, man, I miss you so much, gang. Like, my mom used to talk on the phone a lot. Sometimes she used to just sit there, and I, I would be doing shit, tatting, working, whatever I'm doing, and just had the phone up. And she not even one of type of person. They'd be like wanting the conversation back. Like she'll just tell you about an old ass story from 30 years ago that you probably didn't heard already. But just to hear her voice, it's just like, fuck it, I sit on the phone. My mom, you should be talking about your health. You should be talking about what's going on with these niggas around the corner. But you don't want to talk about it? Cool. We just want to sit here. At least I know I can say I talked to my mom today. You feel me? So her being dist distant herself from me today, I mean, distant from herself from me. In the last kind of two years, it kind of helped me because it's like, 
what would I be doing today? Like, probably calling her phone, she not answering, or having to pop up over there and see some weird shit. So it's like, um, yeah, Dukes, I'm I'm actually okay. Like, I'm chilling. I thought I was a little nervous going into the today, because I'm like, oh, shit, I don't know how I'm going to feel. And I don't know if, like, Capricorns, they don't like not knowing shit, gang. Like, Capricorns really don't like just winging it. You feel me? Like, no, we need to know how I feel. We need to know how we going to carry this. So we can be all right, you feel me? So like, I feel good though. I'm not faking being all right. It's kind of, only part. Only part of today is weird is that I'm, I'm still giving her her flowers, but I'm giving her flowers while she's not here no more. So it's like I'm still doing it to make my keep myself okay. This I feel like right now all I have is like going out to the cemetery and kind of just vibing with with her energy because I know her energy is around me. I don't even have to really go out to the cemetery to do that. And it's like. It's so crazy how the universe just kind of gives you signs that they still here. You know, like, I swear to God, I cannot make this up. I don't know if y'all was, y'all been following, I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram or TikTok or anything, but a situation came up and I know if that would, in that situation, I know I would have called my mom and I'd be like, mom, what, what should I do? Like, am I doing this right? Should I, you know what I mean? Like, what should I do? Sometimes she'll say something weird, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm definitely not doing that. So sometimes I'm not calling for her advice. I'm calling this to, for, to see how she would carry it, and I'll be like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry it nowhere near like that. So I know I'm doing the right thing. But I just said, Mom, I need some advice, Mom. I don't want to call my God, Mom. She's always in Virginia, Mom. Like, I don't want to get on her nerves. This is like a quick one-two, Mom. What should I do? Soon as I went upstairs... I feel like at that moment she spoke through my niece because I'm talking about I said it I was literally sitting right here in this spot then I went upstairs I was like mom I wish she was here right now mom I don't want to do nothing stupid I already got a lot on my plate mom what should I do I go upstairs and then boom she spoke through my niece my niece asked me the stupidest question possible no no question is stupid but I feel like my niece would have already know that I was going to say no but for some reason, she needed me to hear. She needed to hear me say no, like a big fat ass no, like like a fuck no. So when she came up the steps, I mean, when I came up the steps, I mind you, I'm down here talking to, trying to fill my mind energy, and then I go upstairs, and then and my niece asked me this dumb ass question, and I was like fuck. I almost said fuck no, but I said no, yo, like a hard ass no, and then like I I was about to lay down. And then I started laughing. I was like, Mom, you funny, bro. Like, you real funny, but thank you. Like, I was like, damn. Like, cause at first I was about to, I posted it asking my TikTok folks, like, you know what I'm saying, like, what should I do? What would y'all do? Before I even posted it, I got my answer. So I'm like, shit, I was literally already in the midst of posting it. So I'm talking to my niece, telling her no, and hitting a button all at the same time. And I was like, well, shit, I might as well go delete that, cause I don't give a fuck what they saying. I got my answer. And it's like, damn, that was funny. So, like, sometimes, you know, I, I really don't have to go to the cemetery to feel my mom energy. Um, but I do. It's just something that I like to do. I don't know. I don't really like to do it because it kind of, it kind of, though, like, it kind of humbles me and it kind of balances me out because it's like, this is reality. Even though I know that her energy is here, me going to the cemetery kind of reassured me that she's just, like, not here in the flesh. She's not suffering even though part of the suffering it was like self i felt like i felt though as though it was like a self-inflicting like pain because um why would you keep going through the same bullshit over and over and over again like that's here no there like mom not here to judge you you was here for what you was here for and then your time was up um so, but it kind of just reassured me that, like, all right, like, cool. Like, even though I know her energy is, I feel her energy damn near every day. Um, I know she's not physically here with me no more. My mom didn't look like herself. She looked like herself in the casket, but not around the corner at the house. My mom looked miserable, bro. Like, y'all don't, like, I'm like, Ma, this is, this is, hard. this is bad, bro. Like, seeing my mom in the hospital, I'm like, this is not my mom, bro. Like, this can't be life. Like, this, it has to be something better. So, me going out there just kind of, it kind of helped me, though. Like, I don't never say why me or why her because you really never know, like, what's on the other side. So, it's, like, a kind of selfish of me to say, 
damn, I wish you was here with me just so I can ask you questions when I'm not sure of something. Like, that's kind of fucked up. So I'm really in a good place, even though I thought I would be, like, kind of weird today. But, like, I'm not sad. I'm not I'm not putting this ain't no poker face. This ain't none of that. Like, I'm, I feel good. I'm in a good place in my life. No bullshit. I kind of made a couple decisions in the last couple months that I'm still standing on because I'm still here. Even though I'm doing a lot of shit for other people, I'm still here. I'm still living. And I'm not, I'm not living through nobody else. Like, I'm still here. I still got time to do everything that I wanted to do with my life. I feel like now I don't have not the burden of my mom not of taking care of my mom, but just like kind of. It's, it's kind of hard to elevate when you love people the way I love my mom and just seeing the situations that she put herself in. I'm like, even though I know that everybody, everything is a choice and it was a choice that my mom like just lived the way she did. So it's like, I can't be mad, but it's like at the end of the day, what if that, what if that wasn't a choice? What if that was her reason to be here? You know? So it's like, I don't question nothing. So. I just kind of rock with the punches, punches, so I might even get a little cake today. I'm not sure, so um, I don't have my daughters this weekend. I'm going I'm to knock on the uh, wall because that might just mean I got to go get them in the next two minutes. Co-parenting is not ghetto as it was. It started off very, very ghetto, but you kind of just let the kids just wing it. Like, however they feel, and they want to go home, they want to come over here, they want to, you know what I'm saying, stay here. I really got this house specifically exactly for my daughters, though how it's set up and all that. But you know, life happens and I can't complain. I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm not in jail, so it feels good. So come on, gang, vibe with me. We about to go to the, um, where am I gonna go? I'm gonna try to go to the dollar store first, but they probably won't have shit. I'm not trying to go to Park City, though. That's That's doing too much, so. Hopefully I find everything that I need at the dollar store and I don't have to go to expensive ass party city. But but we're gonna try it. Let's go again. It's a little nippy out this joint. The sun is beaming down, but god damn, it's a little but it's cold out this motherfucker. What I do with the key? Shut up. Shut up, bro. Shut the hell up. Alright, I'm going to try to keep moving this microphone because in the other video, in the other drum, it was like all in the way. I got to remember that I got this drum. I'm on like my third set of pods, so yeah, respectfully, we ain't on that right now. Um... All right, gang, so we about to go vibe real quick. <clears throat> Let's go. I think I'm going to go to... Uh, I think I'm going to go to... i go to the John. A little bit further. You know that the John's a little bit further. Yeah. Where's the John? Oh, I'll go to this John first. I know it got to be one. Somewhere close to the cemetery. I'm trying to think where is the dollar store near there. I think I go all the way out my way. I'm about to see they got his son. All right, let's go. We out of here. You already know. I told y'all I don't live too far from my mom, so I always spin down her block. So we gonna take a nice little spin down that John. I always go over there, check, see what's... I don't never go in. I ain't going in, but... I'm gonna go around there and see what's going on. It's cold as shit out here, gang. I'm not even gonna tweak. It's cold. I had to throw the glasses on. Those of you that, that don't know, I do wear glasses, but most of the time... As y'all can see, it got like kind of like a little tent on these joints. So when, I, when I'm in the house, I don't wear them because I can't fucking see. All right, here we go. We about to pull up on Duke's block. Here we go. Ugh. I did not run the light. I was already through that jump. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on? Probably nothing. 
probably nothing going on. I'm about to steal my mom's trash can. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't judge me. That's it. I just I just like the cruise through there. Make sure. I, I don't know what I'll be looking for. But I'm for sure going to always do that. I don't know why. It's just I moved up here. I only moved in this area so I could be close to her. In case she need me real quick. So now that she's not here. I'm telling you, that's my next goal. My goal was to move out the crib, like, it was supposed to be December of last year, you feel me? I was saving all year. I ain't do too much. I did go to Florida a couple times. I went to Atlanta City. They even busted a few times, but nothing too major, you know what I'm saying, last year because I was saving a move, but I had to do what I had to do for Duke, so... It's all good, so that's what I get for playing and shit. I keep telling y'all, don't plan shit. What's for you is already gone. Just let the universe guide you where you're supposed to go. Your next move, you just be prepared. You feel me? So now I'm just trying to be prepared. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to really plan for too much. So. So yeah, we about to go. We almost there. Ugh. It's really cold in Philly right now. You know what? I I didn't buy a hat all winter. I really wasn't outside this winter, but I normally be having like 30 fucking hits. This is my first bald headed ass winter. I'm going to give y'all like a hair journey too. I'm going to make a separate pic, a separate video for that, for my hair journey, because I just want y'all to see how fat, like, I literally got naturally long hair. My mom had it. My friend, like the girls in my family, shit, even the boys. My brother and his sons had long hair at one time. My nephews. So I just want y'all to see how long, <laughs> how, how long. I mean, how the time it's gonna take to get my hair back to where it was. I'm not ever getting it straightened, so that's that's a dub. So y'all might not ever see the full potential, but. Y'all gonna see the vibes. I cut my hair, what? When did I cut my hair? I cut my hair last April. And I started growing it back in October. So, get y'all a little journey. Y'all already know. Y'all come with me for everything else. So, I just pulled up at Dollar Tree right now. <laughs> Hopefully, they got something. Hopefully, they do. They better have something, because I'm not going nowhere else. Cool this shit out here. God damn. All right, so. Definitely. See, look, I'm going a, I'm to a get this for the next time I come. I'm not going to get this. I might not put this down right now. But I am going to get it because they're probably not going to have it. See, I'm about to kill two birds with one stone. Let me get a cart because last time I was running late and I, before, excuse me, uh -huh, before the holiday came, they didn't have nothing. But I find when I find stuff like this that I could stick in the ground, yeah, we get that. We get that early. So, my birthday is tomorrow, so I'm going to put this down. Then I'll come back and... They got more little Valentine's Day stuff over there. But we're going to stick to the script. We came in here for birthday stuff, so... I told y'all my mom loves decorations, so I probably don't do St. Patrick's Day. I never seen her put no decorations up for that, but <laughs> I'm not gonna put kissing booth out there, John. They gonna think they gonna be like, "Hey, yo, y'all good?" 
Not that. Look though. They already got Easter shit up. St. Patrick's. Look at. They got Easter stuff up already. St. Patrick's Day ain't even get here yet. Can y'all chill? Valentine's Day stuff. Wait, is that? This is like Christmas stuff. If that was black, I would get it because she likes stuff like that. Hey, you're cute. Some of this stuff is really nice. I got these last time, gang. These was kind of, they looked a lit. When I, um, they looked a lit when I, uh, I could have kept them down there, the ones I put down for her birthday. Okay, I am going to get some, get her some fake flowers today. Because, why would I get real flowers? I don't know. Get her some fake flowers to put out there. If I get the right color, I don't have to switch. <laughs> is that right one? Or is it smart? Mind your business. So we're gonna get Duke some fake flowers and a balloon. We're not gonna do too much, but we're just gonna make it. The goal every year be, um, I mean, every season is no more than like $11. There's no reason to put more than $11 out there. But I thought they was going to like, I thought they was going to pick it up, but they, they actually didn't pick it up. So I was kind of shocked. Where do you be having, the, um, when people come out and put stuff down on the graves near my niece, they always come. Next time I come get it, next time I see it, it be gone. So we're gonna get pink next time. So I think I should get, I think I should get um, not pink. What color should I get? I want like all colors. So she really wasn't a pink person. I wish they had like gold or something. They got blue. Mom, enjoy your blue flowers today. Why blue? I don't know. It looks like a heart, don't it? Oh, it's cold as shit out here, gang. I'm going home, right? Put my other jacket on before I go out there. Cause I'm a fucking free if I don't. I did go over my budget a little bit. I told y'all to go only be eleven dollars. Am I getting caught up in the matrix? Ugh. I don't know. Hold on. All right, that's it, gang. I did show y'all some of the stuff I got. Y'all gonna see it. When it's up, I found these little gates that I've been looking for. It was only a dollar, so. The gates, I don't have to take down. So, I did go over my budget a little bit. Like I told y'all, I'm not into no holidays. They not getting me all caught up in nothing. But, my mom definitely was. So, I just said, you know, when the holidays come around, her birthday come around, I can just go, you know what I mean, decorate her little situation <clears throat> so she won't feel left out gang i got you i still got you ever since i got these retainers gang my lips been dry as fuck bro i feel like i can't lick my lips like i normally normally do bro i'm for sure about to go put on my other jacket or my other pants bro i'm freezing bro um but yeah, so I did spend $26 today. But you gotta remember, I got some Valentine's Day shit too. Um, I got like four or five things for Valentine's Day. My, I did hit my budget, but then I found those gates on my way out. So 
I'm like, this would be cool. And I don't have to take the gates up unless I find somewhere. So, all right, now you're about to come by with me real quick. I said I was gonna go home, but I'ma just knock this out when I'm out here. Duke, so let's go. Y'all gonna ride with me real quick. Probably had to just show y'all like the beginning and the end because I forgot my uh, tripod. So yeah, respectfully. I keep telling y'all I'm not really a YouTuber. I'm just a dickhead with a phone. <laughs> but I just wanna uh, like, I like recording, like tracking my process so I can look back on these videos and see all the shit that I've been through. So, oh shit, fuck. Yeah, you feel me? Like, I just want, I like tracking my progress. Like, I like to track shit. I like to, if it, you feel me? Like, I like to see how I can improve. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more consistent. I was giving y'all videos back to back, my uh, the vlog was shown. I might try to do something like that for, um, for February or something like that. It's, it be a lot going on, gang. Like, this shit not easy. Shout out to all the YouTubers that's really killing the game, bro. Like, I understand that y'all be wanting vids back to back, but y'all know that it, it, a lot comes with that. You feel me? I got to be in the right headspace to even feel like recording. Sometimes I don't feel like recording. I really don't sometimes. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Bear with me, gang. I, I'm going through a lot. You feel me? So, y'all lucky y'all get this. So, just stick with me here. I had to take y'all with me today, though. Like, I feel like y'all been a part of the whole journey. Some of y'all was praying for Dukes while she was in the hospital. So, I mean, some of y'all done seen the funeral. Been watching me grow through the process. So, you yeah, mean, you going to get this. Y'all you, you right here with me. You going to get this. You feel me? You for sure going to get this. <sighs> I don't know if my family knows exactly where she's bury that so i might see some of them out here today i might not i'm not too sure like i told y'all before i really don't talk to them no more so well not right now anyway all i'm focusing on right now is healing and making sure my niece is okay my daughter's okay i can't worry about shit else outside of that box even though the universe keep trying to make me do it um i'm gonna stay focused i'm gonna stay focused here dukes it's all about you I will not be eating no cake today. After I'm done this, I'm gonna go home. I still ain't eat nothing yet. I don't really like eating as soon as I wake up. Like, as soon as I open my eyes, I know people, my morning routine be most of the time just get myself together in the bathroom and then start my day. I really be, I really be forgetting about the most important meal of the day. Cause I be hoping that my fiance wake up before me and cook. This hurt right here. I know she was up. She might want to go with us. Hold on. I said go with us. Like, you see how I just incorporate y'all in my life? Hold on. Oh. Okay. Pull this shit out there. So, <laughs> respectfully, Dukes, I love you, but it's too cold out there, bro. So we're gonna bring you your flowers right from this damn car. Mind you, we take. I'm taking this stuff down tomorrow. I'm really coming right back out here tomorrow and take it down, cause tomorrow's not her birthday. <laughs> And you probably only getting two of these dudes because I'm fucking cold. God damn. We got a little happy birthday type vibe going on. All this cost. And then look what they put in the bag, gang. They gonna get this back here. They gonna give me some ice seeds. Like, what the? F what y'all on, bro? My hands is getting too cold. It's hot as a bitch. Dude, you about to get one of these, John. Cause I don't even know how to do this. Mm, let me see. Thank you, this. Wrap it around. I'm gonna get your ass in there. Perfect. Dude, you're not getting too many of these, John. 
So we're gonna do like two. We're that gonna do like. So Alright, you can pull it like that. I tried it right here. Oh, that's lit. I'm gonna show y'all how, how it looks when we get out there, but right now, it's too fucking cold, bro. Do I get what y'all get? Yeah, we not. Okay, Dukes. I see they got some fresh dirt out here. The last time I came, it was like a hole right here, so yeah. We out here with the comfies on. Hey, Nadu. You trying to get out of here, girl? It's so cold out here, man. This thing is, this dirt is so hard. In the middle, ain't it? Die! Alright, gang. Low key, that one was kicking our ass, so we try to hurry up and get back in the car because it was cold as shit. But, um, yeah, that's it, gang. Make sure y'all drop a like, drop a comment, uh, show some love. Happy birthday, Dukes. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, gang. I did what I can do. As soon as I get back to work, though, she getting this crazy headstone. Shit gonna be lit. Y'all already know y'all gonna check that joint out with me. All right, gang, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.